And so we've completely wiped out the enemy on the ground with one bomb. They never learned to stop parking too close to one another after that cluster bomb hit from the third mission. Had they simply spread out the targets a bit more without increasing their number, the mission would have been more dangerous and fun. We're sharing the site clear as well. Good work. Proceed to next station. Target is at bearing 090. Roger. Bugging out. Starburst Cougar Blade is bugging out. Starburst copies, Cougar. Stay safe. Now, you are going to see a lot of external camera on the way home. I was expecting to see the external tank drop. Spoilers, it doesn't. Just one one to I just lost my HUD. Unit lost weight, bugging out. Copy, Unicorn. No, stay there and look for it. Those HUDs are expensive. I did see tanks drop automatically in aim strike, but those were all on the center line pylons. I suppose letting it go under the wing could lead to an air current slamming it against the plane or into the missile next to it. We haven't heard much of air-to-air -air combat on the radio this time, have we? A quiet day. Have you noticed that the enemy fighters went straight from MiG-21 to MiG-29? What about the numbers in between? Okay, putting a MiG-25 into the game would be pissing on the player, but that leaves the flogger, which somehow never made it big. The plane didn't exactly get a lot of positive publicity in the Lebanon War of 1982, where the Israelis mopped the floor with the Syrian Air Force. Also, the early export variants of the flogger, the MiG-23 MS, had the Fishbeds radar, so a lot of potential buyers probably didn't see it as much of an upgrade, especially with more complicated and expensive maintenance. At least the fish bed was made in the USSR, and in India, and in China, who had licenses. So when it came to spare parts, there was a bit of a competitive market going, I guess. Choosing a flogger, you'd be stuck with one source of spares and very little payoff. Now, China did try to copy the flogger, and the results were bizarre. Cougar flight, we show you at waypoint 4. Roger that, Starburst, Cougar 1. They bought some MiG-23 MSs, the 23BMs attackers and the 23Us trainers from Egypt to reverse engineer the hell out of them in the mid-70s. But Egypt did not have any floggers with a new air-to-air -air radar supporting new radar-guided missiles. So whoever decided not to export the more advanced variants had a point. The Chinese engineers decided to make up for the lack of a proper radar by copying the unit found on a different source, the American F-111, which they also obtained in mysterious oriental ways. The F-111 was used mainly as a bomber, but its radar could operate in air-to-air -air mode if it was required. China's attempt at actually making the new plane did not go quite right. They had some troubles in copying the engine, but the really big snag was the flogger's wing swivel mechanism. Gargoyle flight, we show you at waypoint 4. Target is at bearing 105. Roger. Starburst, can we get the big picture? Roger that. Stand by for update. I can hardly wait. The Chinese could not make a functional copy small enough to fit the original fighter's dimensions, so they had to enlarge the airplane. While some engineers were busy copying the MiG's airframe, the others were cloning the radar from the F-111. That also did not go smoothly. It wouldn't fit. Initially, China wanted to make an attack plane based on the MiG-23BN with some air-to-air -air functions. But the attacker flogger has a very thin and pointy nose. Gargoyle, advise your path is clean at this time. Roger. So, they looked at the nose cone of the MiG-23MS, because it was larger and could house a radar. But the Chinese knockoff of the Ardovac's radar was too big to fit there. So, the entire nose had to be redesigned as well. Cougar flight, we show you at waypoint 5. Cougar 1. Unicorn flight, we show you at waypoint 4. Starburst, we're under that. There are some pictures online, but I'm not sure how true they are to the mock-up scale model that is the main source of information about the plane's appearance. In most artists' impressions, the new Chinese nose looks like it was inspired by the F-16, including the bubble canopy and the ventral intake. 
the single ventral intake smaller than either of the two intakes on the original flogger, and the plane was supposed to use the same engine. Gargoyle flight, we show you at waypoint 5. Target is at bearing 0, 9 or 0. You copy the position, Starburst. How are Unicorn and Kruger faring? Gargoyle, they're both fine and getting the job done. Focus on your mission, sir. Do I hear a hint of jealousy? This dialogue is getting more awkward by the minute. Unicorn flight, we show you at waypoint 5. Oh, and it looks absolutely majestic when an 80s nose section is grafted onto a 70s airframe made out of boxes and cylinders. Anyway, the Chinese attempts at cloning the flogger and turning it into the Q6 attacker started in 1976 and the project was cancelled in 1989. It's impressive that they've kept it going for so long. Speaking of taking a long time to get nowhere, uh, the afterburner in Energy Air Force has multiple stages. I'm using it now to burn fuel faster without actually going too fast. Oh, that's our base. Let's resist the temptation to sequence break and land there right now. Yes, I'm still clinging onto the hope that the tank will pop off and something happens. Cougar flight, we show you at waypoint 6. Perhaps it's stuck. Gargoyle flight, we show you at waypoint 6. Roger. Target is at bearing 015. Roger, nav data, Starburst. Thanks. Unicorn flight, we show you at waypoint 6. Starburst, roger that. When I played this mission the very first time, I heard this flying an A-10 trading smoke after a helicopter cannon hit. Gargoyle flight, we show you at waypoint 7. Copy on the location, Starburst. Target is at bearing 285. We're on our final victory. Unicorn 2 has lost hiding control surfaces. Gonna put it down first, Unicorn 1, roger that. We'll clear the runway ASAP after touchdown. Switching to tower. Cougar flight, we show you at waypoint 7. Cougar 1 copies. Unicorn flight, we show you at waypoint 7. Starburst, roger that. Tower, Gargoyle checking in. Gargoyle, we have you in sight. Continue inbound, report 3 miles with the gear. Tower, Gargoyle. 3 down and locked. Gargoyle, cleared land runway at 27, winds light and variable. Gargoyle, we have you in sight. Continue inbound. So, this time the excuse for us landing ahead of everyone is that a unicorn plane is so fucked up it might leave its wreckage all over the runway. I'll take it. Sounds more interesting than the usual excuse of ladies first. I'm not sure why they are doing this every mission. Although, I've never seen an AI land a plane in Aimstrike. Maybe they just can't, and the only thing that hides it from the player is that the mission ends after you stop. By the way, stopping on the ground is the only trigger for the mission complete message. If you keep some speed, you can steer after the landing, taxi somewhere, or turn around and take off again. That drop tank is most definitely empty now, but it's still attached. I give up. I'm getting the hang of this approach thing. This time I might be even slow enough to stop quickly.
praised be JDM and all of Mark 80s. What's this I hear? Is this new music? Wait, no, it's the one that played in the strike bonus video. I wonder why it came up now. I wish the cameras didn't accelerate their movement when I fast forward. At least don't speed up the shaking hands of the virtual operator. Let's meditate. Oh, here is me spotting stuff. I'd like to remind you that the default loadout for this mission expected me to fly it with two harms and no bombs. That would have been painful and disastrous. And speaking of disasters, look at the placement of the Grisons in his battery. Simply brilliant. Now it's time to hunt the rotary shits down. Gargoyle 3 is already engaging them, too shy to ever speak on the radio. Look at them burn. Well, smoke. That was the first time I got shot down in a campaign in this LP playthrough. Now two is going to finish them off. Easy. Hey, what was that missile? Can't find it now probably related to the unicorn flight. This one. This is what we need to fly to unlock another new plane. I'm not looking forward to it because I've already recorded the footage. But you'll get to see the train wreck next time. <laughs>